is wrinkle-free as she takes Maddox and Shiloh to Banks a coal music event in New York City. Angelina Jolie has had a busy week in New York City. The 42-year-old Oscar winner hit the on event on Friday then took her kids to see Star Wars the next day. And also on Saturday the Maleficent actress stopped by the bank so cold, the Requiem for Cambodia at Pambuacland Academy of Music event. Baby adds by She was joined by daughter Shiloh and son Maddox, who she shares with a strange husband Brad Pitt. The brunette bombshell wore a clever beige trench coat over a white top and dark slacks with her long locks worn down. The star appeared completely wrinkle-free as she wore minimal makeup. She posed with author of First They Killed My Father Lao Good as well as designer Irithi Pan and composer Kim Sophie. Later the salt star was joined by executive producer, Buakland Academy of Music Joseph V. Melillo, President, Buakland Academy of Music Katie Clark and executive director, Cambodian Living Arts, Flo and Primer. In addition to Shiloh and Maddox, she has the Hora, 12, Pax, 13, and Twins Knox and Vivian, 9. Earlier on Saturday they hit a screening of Star Wars, The Last Jedi in Manhattan. The actress director lived up to her fashionista image, donning a wintry ensemble of a textured wrap dress with a tan belt with heeled black boots. The beauty accessorized with black sunglasses with a black leather handbag with metallic buttons. She was impeccably made up with her dark brown locks slightly parted to the left as she walked with her quartet of kids, who were bundled up amid the frosty conditions. The family seemed to be in a great mood as they made their way through the city. They were coming off the big night in the Big Apple Friday, where they visited Cipriani Wall Street for the 2017 United Nations Correspondents Association Awards where Angelina accepted the honors for 2017 UNCA Global Citizen of the Year. The Academy Award-winning actress, accepting her honors, said that people have an obligation to envision themselves in the struggles of others, and fight their fight for human rights and freedom as your fight, according to people. Sholey said that she instills the lessons that guide her ambassadorship into her children. When people of any race or of any religion are being persecuted and killed we cannot do less than we are capable of doing, she told the crowd at the Swanky Gotham Eatery. This is what I want my own children to know and value and what I have learned from them. Children have an understanding and a truth. They can instinctively feel right from wrong. They are not led by strategy they are led by morality. She thanked her kids and said she was beaming with pride over who they're growing up to be and for the hope that gives me for the future. Jolie has not just contributed on an international level, but in a big way in her own industry, as she emerged two months ago to reveal that she was one of the many women producer Harvey Weinstein made unwelcome sexual advances toward, in a hotel room when she was 23, and promoting the 1998 rom-com playing by heart. I had a bad experience with Harvey Weinstein in my youth, and as a result, chose never to work with him again and warn others than they did, she told the New York Times. This behavior towards women in any field, any country is unacceptable. Weinstein has been accused by a total of 84 women of sexual harassment, misconduct and abuse. His rape has said that any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by the producer.